Okay, here we are at the Aerodyme Hydraulics bench. We are uh, putting new seals in a gear dump valve. So we have detached the control arm previously. We've removed the piston. The clip can remain in place, uh, but in, in fact I did remove the clip, uh, take it to my lathe, and lightly honed to uh, polish the surfaces, reinstalled the clip, so now we're ready for the seals. So we're going to take the new, new O-ring and just get a little wet with 5606. I'm going to start that new O-ring sliding up onto the installer, and then I'm going to seat uh, this end of the installer. Hope you can see that. Recessed a bit. I'm going to seat that over the end like that and then I'm going to push with the tube and I guess what we're going to do is push a little harder with the tube okay and so what that has done is uh, ride that o-ring up over the expansion in the installer so as you see kind of what happened is the o-ring went on this end and then I pushed it up a ways and then it expanded on this uh, uh, you know, machined flare and then the flare went on over the end to lock us in place and then we just pushed with the tubing to pop that o-ring uh, in there without any damage whatsoever to the o-ring. If you're going to service your valve uh, why not get the O-rings in there successfully? Otherwise you may be doing a return visit. So again we're going to go ahead, you see the uh, O-ring is loaded here, it's just about to slide up the there, sliding up the flare a bit. We're going to lock this on here and again, I don't know if you can see down there, but here we go. All right. That one is now onto the shaft, and then in this case, the groove we're headed for is still downrange. Boom! Snapped it right in. Okay, there we go. All right, installation of the double lot six uh, O rings onto the gear dump valve piston assembly without any damage to the rings whatsoever. Uh, the rest of the reassembly here is quite straightforward, replacing the, the fitting O ring everything back together. Uh, need to make sure that the screw when it goes back through is not over tightened. We don't want any binding in the operation of the lever. And after each use of the installer we just use this uh, drill rod to eject to eject the installer from the tube. So if you don't have these handy supplies right here, these installation tools, then you should consider the Aerodyme kit. Uh, and with the purchase of the kit, we will loan you the tools. Thanks.